Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, now in my previous two videos, uh, I uh, discussed about the basic introductory concepts associated with PN junction dial and uh, the equivalent circuit models of PN junction dial. So uh, in this video, I uh, will be discussing about the volt ampere or voltage current characteristics of the PN junction diode when it is connected in forward biased and reverse biased mode. So, we will study both the cases, the VI characteristics in forward bias connection of PN junction diode and the volt ampere or the VI characteristics in the reverse bias connection. So, before that, uh, in my previous video, I just touched the uh, depletion layer and built-in potential concept in a brief manner, in a short way. And I told you that I will be discussing in detail about this uh, depletion layer thing in my next video. So, as you can see, uh, this is the... Uh, representation of a PN junction diode. Okay? So, it consists of the P type block and the N type block which are joined together. Now, as I said, the P type block, the majority charge carriers are the holes which are responsible for current conduction. Now, in the N type semiconductor, the majority charge carriers are electrons. So, when both these blocks are joined together with the help of a, a special fabrication technique to form a PN junction diode, this region, okay, this region is formed which is deprived of any mobile charge carriers. That is, this region neither consists of any electrons nor any holes. Why this happens? It is because as soon as this two blocks, the P and N block are combined or joined together, electron and hole, they recombine with each other. Okay? As you know, holes are nothing but vacant electronic sites, vacant spaces having a strong force of attraction for electrons. So, when these two blocks are joined together, the electrons, they move into these vacant electronic sites, which is called as the electron hole recombination or electron hole annihilation. So, because of this process, this electron hole recombination or annihilation process, this region is depleted or deprived of the mobile charge carriers. So, this region is called as the depletion region or the depletion layer. Now, because of the deprivation of this region of any mobile charge carriers, uh, electric potential, okay, an electric potential is developed around this region, this depletion layer in the opposite direction to the forward bias voltage, okay, and this potential is called as the built-in potential, okay? the built-in potential. Now, this built-in potential has to be overcome by the forward voltage for current conduction to take place in the PN junction diode. Okay? So, now we will just understand the mathematical expression for the built-in potential in terms of the various associated parameters. Okay? So, let us uh, see what the mathematical expression looks like. So, the mathematical expression for the built-in potential which is developed uh, across the depletion layer is given by this expression Vt into ln Nd by Na by Ni square. Here, VBI, as you know, is the built-in potential. V subscript capital T is the thermal voltage, okay, which is given by this expression, which is KT by E, where K is the Boltzmann constant, 
T is the absolute temperature in Kelvin and E is the electronic charge 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Here N D or N subscript small d is the donor impurity concentration. As you know, donor impurity is used in the process of doping of semiconductors to form a N type extrinsic semiconductor. I have posted video related to fabrication of semiconductors in my channel. You can check out how the P type and N type extrinsic semiconductors are fabricated through the process of doping. So, the donor impurity is the impurity which is uh, uh, which is used the concentration of impurity which is used to for the formation of a uh, n type semiconductors basically a pentavalent impurity is used okay so this is the donor impurity concentration and na is the acceptor impurity concentration this acceptor impurity is basically a trivalent impurity which is used for the fabrication of p type semiconductors okay p type extrinsic semiconductors so donor impurity is used for fabrication of n type semiconductors and acceptor impurity is used for the fabrication of uh, the p type semiconductors then we have small ni means uh, small n subscript small i which is the intrinsic carrier concentration okay the concentration in the intrinsic semiconductors okay so, this is the expression for the built in potential, you can note it down. Okay? So, uh, this is the expression for the built in potential which is developed because of the electron hole recombination leading to the formation of the depletion layer. Now, this built in potential has to be overcome by the forward voltage in forward bias connection for any current conduction to take, uh, to take place in the diode. Now, we have to discuss the volt ampere characteristics or voltage current characteristics. So, as you know, I already discussed about the forward and reverse bias connection of PN junction diode uh, through the application of ground to ground KVL to find out the uh, voltage drop across this diode, the voltage across this diode. If it is greater than 0.7 volt or 0.5 volt for silicon and germanium respectively then it is forward bias otherwise it is reverse bias. You can check out that video related to uh, forward and reverse biasing of diodes which I have posted in the introductory uh, <coughs> basic introduction to p n junction diodes. So, here as you can see uh, the p type end is connected to the positive terminal of the voltage source. So, and the n type end is connected to the negative end. So, obviously, the p type end is at a higher positive potential, it means that the voltage across the diode is greater than uh, 0 volt or 0.7 volt and 0.5 volt. So, it is forward biased. In reverse bias, it is the opposite, uh, the p type end is connected to the negative and the n type end is connected to the positive. So, the voltage drop across the diode will be less than 0, so it will be reverse biased. And this is this just a simple representation. You will rarely fi find this simple uh, circuits in uh, numerical problems. Normally, it will have multiple diodes, multiple voltage sources, resistances, and all that. In that case, you have to apply the ground to ground KVL, as I have already told you in detail in my previous video how to apply ground to ground KVL to find out the uh, voltage across the diode and then to make a decision whether it is forward bias and reverse bias. So, please check out that video uh, in the introduction to uh, PN junction diode where I have mentioned all that. So, please check out that so that you understand these things in a better way. So, this is the reverse bias connection and the forward bias connection. Now, let us discuss the plot or the VI characteristics. So, this is the uh, uh, volt ampere or VI characteristics for the p n junction diode in forward bias condition and the reverse bias condition. So, the first quadrant this uh, is uh, represents the volt ampere characteristics in forward bias and the third quadrant is the uh, volt ampere characteristics in reverse bias condition. Okay? So, here in the forward bias condition, 
in the x axis we have the forward voltage in volts and in the y axis we have the forward current in terms of milli ampere so when you increase the voltage the forward voltage from zero as you can see up to the built in potential or the barrier potential also it is called as barrier potential up to that value the increase in forward current with respect to the forward voltage is very 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 less okay the slope is very less okay it is because of the uh, the, the, the predominance the effect of the depletion layer resulting in built in potential or barrier voltage so this amount of uh, voltage the energy is used up in overcoming the built in potential the barrier potential okay once the forward voltage crosses this built in potential or barrier voltage value there is a sharp increase in forward current with respect to an increase in forward voltage beyond this point any small increase in forward voltage will lead to a large increase in the forward current which is high slope the slope is very high okay so the entire forward bias operation revolves around before and after the built in potential value before built in potential the increase in forward current is very less after built in potential the increase in forward current is very very high now uh, in uh, the forward bias condition we'll discuss the reverse bias condition uh, uh, afterwards in the forward bias region the current voltage uh, relationship is governed by the following equation okay uh, the current in the forward bias condition is equal to is into e to the power v by nvt minus 1 here i is the forward current or the current flowing in the forward bias connection is is the saturation current or scale current which is uh, which has a unique value for each diode it is a constant value then we have then in this exponential term capital V is the voltage the voltage across the diode in forward bias mode n is the ideality factor of the diode normally it is 1 or 2 okay it, 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 it has a value actually it is 1 okay it is 1 generally it is 1 it is the ideality factor another constant parameter associated with the diode it comes with the specifications in the specification sheet then we have is the thermal voltage vt which is kt by e as i have uh, mentioned here okay thermal voltage kt by e where k is the boltzmann constant t is temperature in kelvin absolute temperature in kelvin and e is the electronic charge and minus 1 so this is the expression which governs the current voltage relationship of the pn junction diode in forward bias region so please note down this expression next is the reverse bias region okay the reverse bias condition now in reverse bias condition as you can see uh, there is negligible flow of current the reverse current is negligible almost zero up to this value this point this point okay this point of the reverse voltage now this this voltage this point this value of reverse voltage is called as the breakdown voltage okay up to the breakdown voltage there is negligible flow of current in the pn junction diode mainly due to the minority charge carriers okay no whatever negligible current very little current it flows in the reverse bias condition it is due to the minority charge carriers now once this reverse voltage okay this reverse voltage it crosses this breakdown voltage value there is a sharp increase in the reverse current which is very high as compared to the forward current okay this 
increase in current is very less as compared to this current which uh, flows in the diode this reverse current which flows in the diode when the breakdown voltage is reached this is because of a breakdown of the diode there are, there are various types of uh, ways in which uh, breakdown occurs one is avalanche then there is tunneling there are many ways so this breakdown it occurs because of the energy the kinetic energy of the electrons it uh, ha it it reaches a certain point at after that they knock out the electrons by breaking the covalent bonds of the semiconductor okay it leads to breaking of the covalent bonds because of the increased kinetic energy of the electrons now this increase in kinetic energy is caused by the increased reverse voltage the continual increase of reverse voltage so once the reverse voltage exceeds the breakdown voltage okay this this uh, uh, breakdown voltage there is a sharp increase in reverse current and this increase in reverse current this reverse current is very high as compared to the forward current okay now the breakdown occurs due to increased kinetic energy of the electrons which leads to knocking down of the electrons from the covalent bonds of the semiconductor okay so that leads to a sharp increase in the reverse current so in the reverse bias uh, condition the current voltage relationship uh, the, the the current is given by the following expression the reverse current uh, small i is equal to minus is it is because when the voltage v okay is made negative the exponential term becomes negligible as compared to 1 okay see here if this uh, v value it will be made negative as a result of that it will be like 1 by e to the power v by nbt okay e to the power minus v by nbt is equal to 1 by e to the power v by nbt so this 1 by e to the power v by nbt term will be very 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 less as compared to 1 so it is almost equal to minus is so when this voltage the diode voltage will be made negative this exponential term will become negligible very less as compared to this one and it will become minus is so in reverse bias condition the uh, reverse current is almost equal to minus saturation or scale current next is uh, the forward and reverse resistance of the pn junction diode now the forward resistance can be measured in two ways the dc forward resistance and the ac forward resistance so for that in dc forward resistance in the uh, forward uh, bias plot of voltage and current so we pick a point we select a point on the plot and we uh, draw horizontal and vertical lines to determine the forward voltage at that point and the forward current at that point here the forward voltage is oa and the forward current respect at that point p is ob as you know resistance is the ratio between voltage and current so the forward resistance at p is equal to vf by if at that point which is oa by ob generally the dc forward resistance is of the order of ohms as i have said earlier in my previous videos the forward resistance is less as compared to the re uh, reverse resistance the reverse resistance is very high of the order of mega ohms so this forward resistance is generally in the range of 1 to 25 ohms next is the ac forward resistance now the for the ac forward resistance here you have to uh, locate two points let's say p and q and you have to draw horizontal and vertical lines to determine the voltage the forward voltages at the, the two points and the forward currents at the two points p and q so the ac forward resistance is basically uh, defined by as the change in forward voltage uh and the change in the forward current so here the change in forward voltage is oa 
minus OC okay OA minus OC and the change in forward current from Q to P is OB minus OD. So, the AC forward resistance is the change in forward voltage by change in forward current which is equal to OA minus OC by OB minus OD. This also comes in the range of uh, ohms. Next is the reverse resistance. Now, the reverse resistance is uh, calculated in the same way as you calculate the forward resistance. You locate a certain point on the curve and you draw horizontal and vertical lines to find out the reverse voltage and the reverse current and the reverse resistance is equal to reverse voltage by reverse current which is equal to OA by OB. Now, this value is generally ide in ideal cases it is infinite but generally it is not infinite, it is very high resistance value of the order of mega ohms as I said. It is because at this point the reverse voltage value is very high, but with respect to this large increase or large uh, reverse voltage, the reverse current is very less as you can see, OA is very high, but OB is very less. So, as when the denominator will be less, of 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 course the, the 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 value, the resistance value, will be very high, because the current is very less and the voltage is very high. So, of course, the resistance will be very high. So, in ideal cases, it is infinite, but uh, generally, it is uh, of the order of mega ohms. So, here we have discussed about the volt ampere characteristics of a p-n junction diode in a forward and reverse biased connections. Along with that, we have also touched upon the concept of depletion layer and the concept of built-in potential along with its mathematical expression. So, and also we have discussed about the mathematical representation of the voltage and current relationship in forward and reverse bias connections. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics communication and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.